Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's your buddy, Kid Thunder, back again with another video for you, and today, uh, today, it's going to be gaming related, and I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Now, over the past weekend, I've done some video game shopping, and I've recently picked up this game called Castle of Dragon for the NES. As you can see. Now, now I'm gonna play some I'm gonna play some Castle of Dragon. Do a little commentary on it. Uh, the name of the series that I'm gonna do is gonna be called Kid Thunder Game Checkouts. So if I buy a new game, you know, I'm pretty much gonna let you know what are my feelings for it. And wondering if this game is going to be your cup of tea or not. Now, am I saying that? Now, to you guys, it might seem like this is another video game review. It may be a series of video game reviews that I'm, that I'm doing. But, truth be told, it really is. It's just because really all I'm going to do is just throw in some random gameplay video. And then that's going to show you how the how the game plays so let's go ahead and play some castle dragon for the nes let's check this baby out now we just booted up castle of dragon for the NES. My first impression of the game so far is that the title screen looks pretty awesome the music is pretty awesome as well too with that rocking theme tune and right now we're about to start the game and we got this little cutscene thing you know a dragon flies through a certain castle and then you know picks up this girl that you're supposed to rescue after right then and there we're actually into the game itself you know it has this little world map setting thing where you're actually about to start the game and there we go, we're into the game. Now as you can see, the game is actually a side-scroller, your typical side-scroller, um, that you will find on the NES. Um, for what I can tell, the graphics are pretty good for NES standards, considering the fact that this game came around in 1990, late 1989, early 1990, something like that. Um, the problem I have with this game is that the bad hit detection now a lot of I mean now there are fans of this game who probably might notice it but other than that you know I'm starting to notice that and yes the hit detection kinda sucks if you ask me you know sometimes you have to go you know really close to attack an enemy so your shots can so your shots and attacks can actually register Excuse me. But then, speaking of enemies, best bet is like you better make your way to try to get away from them because they will pulverize you if you if you ask me. Now, and then. As far as the status bar goes, well, the orange bar, as you can see on the screen, is actually my health. And then the right, on the right side of the orange bar, you will find a blue bar, which is actually your experience points. And and every time you gain it, get it all the way up, you actually gain like in you know some more slits of life and things like that. So you'll be able to fight longer and whatever may be especially if you're playing this game later on and that's all I can say about this game anyway um, now to me this game is pretty much my cup of tea I actually like medieval settings things like that and you know I like fighting dragons and things like that noticing that 
I'm trying to reference the chiptune band group I Fight Dragons. <laughs> you know, notice it, especially if you have seen their music videos, Save the Girl, Save the World, which is awesome. I've seen it on my 3DS a couple of times anyway. <coughs> but, as far as the controls go, it is okay. The controls are okay. Not the best controls I've ever played in a in a NES game, anyway. Um, but that's what I can say about this game. But anyway, I'm just gonna say this little short commentary, and by the end of the day, I'm gonna have to say, you know, if you like games like this, I suggest you get it. If you don't, oh yeah, another thing would suck about this game: one life, no continues. Play the game in one go. Now, it might be some of you guys' cup of tea, but at the same time, it might not be. But all I can say is, it's up to you if you want to get the game or not. But. I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, gameplay footage roll, and that's pretty much it. As of now, this is Kit Thunder signing off, and take care, ladies and gentlemen.